Ah, it's a beautiful morning. I hope you're all well, guys. Welcome back to Lonsville. The epic kingdom continues. We're almost 50 years in now. We had done a bit of trading already before we got going, and I've set off some walls to be upgraded. I just brought in a bit more stone to continue that as well. But yeah, we really need to probably focus more. I still want to get all this terraformed and carry on getting our nice setup done up here. It's looking pretty good. It's not as good as I'd initially liked but it's it's getting there right and I can flatten this out a little bit more to make that more tricky and we're going to spend a bit of time getting the uh, thingies into these as well so we want to make these quite difficult to get into now we're sacrificing obviously some population up here but that's okay I'm fine with that and all we want to do is be able to get the wall covering it like that so we'll get one going there we'll also get this one in now the only downside is they'll be shooting up on that one but that's fine now half the path into this as well and we're going to continue to plan it out as we wanted it as well so pretty much that and that should cause a nice jagged edge for them to not be able to get up so easily but uh, we do have the other trader come in here so we're hoping for a bit of sand the answer's no there's a little bit of tallow so we'll grab some of that in it's funny we were talking about though in the comments a couple of episodes ago but you can now officially dispose of items i believe i haven't tested it yet but you can Quite literally, click this button, dispose of items. So if you say you got too many arrows, so for example, we have two and a half thousand. We were running out of storage. I could just bin off those 500, right? I could literally just go, bye. So you've got the monthly change and stuff if you click on them now as well. So I never really noticed that before. It's actually a really good way of seeing how many you're gaining of each thing. So pottery, we're right on the edge of that one. It's really, really cool. And I should utilize that a little bit more, really. Uh, thinking about getting another arborist and mixing up the trees as well. So, I think one of the things we're going to do is grab one in, but we're not going to have it... I'm thinking about popping it over here, in all honesty. So we're not really going to build there. I'm thinking here. We're not quite going to upgrade the barn yet. I could have a gate come through and kind of use that as their walkway. But I might just pop him here. And then, rather than having the usual we can have a little gate right there so they can actually access the arborist through the farm i think that looks really really nice and we've got a bit of like decoration planned i'm also going to flatten out a bit over here and we're going to get the horse statue up here as well i think that'll look pretty cool and i'll continue to get in at the upgrades as and when as well 449 on the population this is coming in nicely too so what we want to do here is try our best to flatten this also in a nice manner so Let's actually go from here, and then I'm going to get the walls around this. I could probably do that now, and then both, all of this is easily defended up here then. It will last a lot longer just by having kind of the walls on there, and I'll just put that one nice and flush with that. The reason I left the space on the other one was purely because we may actually be able to expand it this way and get a second tower in there eventually, and or just move both into there. Not sure, we'll see, because they may still path around this back bit as well, but having control of that top mountain is pretty awesome. It's quite tempting to get one of the temp shelters up here too. We could quite easily squeeze one here if we really wanted to. Now we need a bit more flattening, so maybe we will work on that as well. Maybe the inside of it there would be pretty cool. Or right here. So if we do like that... We'll see if we can get a house there. We'll just get a little road gun up to it as well. There we go. We've got some abandonment happening. What's going on? Okay, that's been fully abandoned. And this is purely because of this uh, coal mine here. So we might need to um, actually... How do we buffer that? Let me look. Desirability. We can definitely buffer that up. So I reckon I could probably get away with that. By just adding in nice decorations. That'll give 4% each or so. Then we can get give them their own strips of garden as well. So, that'll probably do it, and then we can bring those back up a little bit. They'll, they'll be a little bit tougher to get up afterwards, but upgrading just that as well should be good. And we'll continue to get all of these manor houses over here as well. So, hopefully we'll be around 500 population when all the upgrades happen. Now, we did get to a point where we've got the fence coming up through here as well, and we want to continue that. We've got a few bricks in again now, so I want to actually get that going a little bit more. I might put a gate there too. We'll bring that there, and I think from the side of this one here, it should, probably should have had the gate there, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll pop the gate there by the theatre, and then we'll fence off that piece there. 
I think that's good. Um, we're not really going to get any back, but that's fine. Gate going towards the theatre, and then we can put some benches and stuff around the back. Nice little uh, area for it. Now, if we look at the desirability over here, we'll probably get these last ones. So by upgrading this, that would give us what we need. And that is, again, going to be bricks then. This is a bit of a weird one here. So the quotas, I have to keep going in and manually ticking and releasing it to get them to go back in there again. It's a bit annoying, but it's fine. I mean, let's have a look here. We've got the bricks automatic, haven't we? So we still want that second one. Is that flat enough yet? <laughs> still don't know, actually. That's actually not. Wow, we still have more flattening to do here. No problem. Let's go from here then. We're almost there. Then we should be able to get another bricky in there as well, but we're good. Hopefully we can fix the abandonment. And I'm going to speed it up here. So we've had two abandonments there. That's fine. Uh, that does give us less population, but uh, we'll deal with that once these are built as well. That should be fine. I'm just wondering if we can get this to go maybe a little bit further out. So let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't look like. We might be able to put it out here. That still counts, actually. As long as it's in range. Yeah, that that's good. So we could, we could do that. We've spent a lot on that. The only downside. We might do it later if we want to get those last ones upgraded. We'll move that outside of the wall there. I should have factored that in, but no desirability debuff was kind of showing. But I didn't bother. As you can see now, the main bit to get into here is no longer wood. So to get into any of our good buildings, they've got a, a, quite a bit of effort to get there. And in here now, we've got more iron pumping out. So we may need a second iron mine at some point. I'm going to go to three in there. We can still upgrade one as well. So that's what we need to do. And then we need to make sure heavy tools are looking good, which I think they are. And beer is also looking pretty fab as well. So I'm going to keep these kind of going in a little bit. Definitely want don't want too many drunken brawls. So we'll try our best to keep at that as well. And then coal is the other one. So 67 there. We, obviously, we do have the deep. We can put more people on that. Let's actually bring some out, and I'm going to buy some spices if they come as well. So we want to be able to keep upgrading. And the first one, oh, I have to go to the theatre. So what does the upgrade cost? It goes to 50 from 30. That will pretty much give all these houses everything, right? And it does mean we'll be able to start our next one. So maybe we spend a bit of time looking at this. So range will be, I think, good from there. So that should... Oh, what is going on? Raid size 2, villagers killed, 0. I don't know what's going on with the raids because uh, they, they bug if you kind of end the game during. So, but yeah, we're going to spend a bit of time working on this next one here then. So I'm going to get the straight stone road and we are actually going to bring that up. But I'm actually going to do something like that. So we've got a little bit of a square. I'm going to put some amenities and stuff inside of there. We'll see what we can fit, but that's going to be the start of the next one. Make sure I get a few houses in there as well. So it shouldn't be too big a deal. Hopefully we can get the path in going for the other ones as well. So let's start this out with a small row, like so. Start the first three there. And let's see if we can keep getting these kind of upgraded as well. So at the moment then, we've got 62, 55. That one's not going to upgrade. 63, so what is it? They're almost there. So just by upgrading some of these, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get everything we need for this one. And if not, we can get the last few bits in, right? We can get a few shrubberies around. We can make that look nice. We can also get this upgraded to a road. Cobble road. I'm pretty sure that affects desirability, or is it just movement? It used to. Anyway, they could have changed that, but we're going to be going into year 49 shortly. Now, that's going to look really cool. And this looks really nice. I know some of you will probably be like, why the hell have you made that one that way? But actually, I probably should have just had the gate there and then made it wider. But that's okay, and I think I can keep flattening this one out. As you can see, the square looks really, really solid now. So I can still make this really good, edge-wise, if I just focus that. And I can do the same on this one. This one, I probably only want to do that part there. I can make this edge really sharp, too. I think we'll try that. See if we can get that nice and sharp so they can't run at it. And yeah, that, if they come through this way, then they're going to get pelted like crazy, because uh, that one does cover it. It's got a decent plus if they, as they're coming up the hill, and almost covers all the way down, and I doubt they'll avoid that tiny bit. And then this one covers both ways in. Perfect. Happy with that. I'm looking forward to when the siege equipment comes fighting as well. We need more granaries. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. Let's increase our beer production. Next upgrade will probably be one of these as well. So we could always dump stuff out, as I say, but we're going to go ahead and get one of those upgraded too. 
and just coming out of the winter period here so bricks looking nice 57 again let's now see if we can get this next one in then we'll focus still so close i can literally see it it is a pain in the backside trying to flatten stuff though guys but yeah money wise we're looking good as well these are they're back in that one so that one's got the tier three desirability again not quite on this one we're just shy so if we get something in over here as well now we've got this one park Maybe some nice trees either side, and I'm thinking like this. So, they're not the best, but... Oh, that would have been cool if it reached there. Would have been better, wouldn't it? Could move the other one. Tell you what. Relocate that garden over to, because that's still going to reach it. What about if we do that? Yeah, that reaches all three. So let's get that over there. Let's prioritize that one. Then we'll get a ornamental tree in that other one. I think that'll be perfect. Not quite sure what's going on here. Village was raided. I wonder if... What's going on? Raid size 1. Raiders killed. I wonder if there... Is there a raider camp somewhere? How are we killing something here? I have no idea. But the raiders won't come from here anymore because we have serious visibility. So that... <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure. Train guards and built... I really don't know what's happening there. All right. We have our arborist building ready though, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is plant a good mixture. So I've had a couple of comments and actually it makes perfect sense. I've always put in all of the same but it actually makes no sense right what you want is for the trees to be tended to all year round and by putting in different ones that's how you do it so we're going to go all the way around with apples and then we're going to go where am i we're going to go into the peaches just means they'll be tending to the trees all year round so we just want a few of each they've actually got to move a few of those there there we go. So a nice mixture of those ones as well. That'll help on our preserves there. And it'll go all year round as well. And here he is. And he's got sand. You absolute beauty. Right, we're going to buy... Probably not that much. Let's get 500 odd. Don't necessarily have the storage space to uh, give you that. We could make a bit more money back here. Yeah, not so much. We Yeah, maybe, maybe a couple of these. Let's go with seven. That'll give us a few hundred back, right? And there they are. Let's get rid of those. 500 back. Beautiful. That'll do nicely. Uh, we are low on tools, so probably want to look at clicking these over now. So go from 21 swords. Just do, like, keep the, the swords, maybe. And then we'll want more tools overall, I think. I could probably turn off the swords altogether, actually. Let's do something like that. 10 to 1. Let's keep tools coming. And now that's moved, I can get my ornamental tree in. And I can continue with my plans. And that leaves me nice little slot to go ahead and get i'm not going to get another urn because i don't like doing too many of them and i think it looks a bit silly but i am going to go ahead and get a couple of these little gardens in there as well and that'll kind of keep this one and this one good and maybe this one in the middle then i just need this one i think these two trees will fix that and like all good things we can finally put in the bricky so i'm going to go ahead and slap another bricky in and we'll slowly get those going as well does mean we might need some more clay but eight of eight there so we, i don't know once we once we get a bit of a surplus we'll turn it back off for the time being i think that's okay and let's take a quick look around so all roads are upgraded somewhat that's good outside of it anyway and then we've got our temp shelter up there let's take a look at trader number two here what do you have for me you have a lovely bit of stone which i'm gonna actually take the time to grab some and I'm going to go, oh my god, look at all this beer that we've made, and we don't have enough. I don't want to sell it for three though, so I'll sell my pots there, and we'll get in some baskets actually. I'll get in pretty much all of the baskets, because we'll get those back anyway. Pretty sure we're getting, yeah, we're getting a nice amount of willow in. I should be able to fix the other stuff here. Villager was killed by predators. There is a bear there, guys. Harassing us all. All right, and let's sell off these baskets as well. Another 1.6k, it's always nice. I'm going to keep the beer flowing for this one, and I'm going to make sure the beer is sold a different one now. And I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more stone in again, because we need it, and there's quite a bit of building I want to finish. So all these buildings over here I want to get done. And actually, I want to get the roads upgraded, and I've clicked this a few times now. Yeah, that one is upgrading. Let's get you upgraded. Now, it's worth mentioning, I'll probably get the upgraded Doctors to hit most of these, but it's going to cost a fair bit again. So that goes to 40, it's an extra 15 gold. But yeah, I plan on building this whole garden bit out here as well, it's going to be really nice. I, I might even get a the Academy out there, I'm not sure yet. I think 
We might need our own slot for the academy. I have no idea what is being raided around here, guys. It's interesting. There's a couple of bugs with uh, this playtest version. I won't lie to you. No idea what's being raided. Unless they start coming this way and it, we just keep killing them. I don't know. Right, let's check in on this new merchant that's come. Let's make sure our storage is good. So the only one is the granaries here. So we could probably still get more beer on the go. Hopefully this last trader wants some. They don't. He seems to have a bit of cash too, doesn't he? Is there anything we want to buy here then? Do we want to go ahead and get in some of these whilst they're cheap? I think I'm going to because they are a pain in the backside to make. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, candles, we can get two more in. Let's max that out. Let's start getting more candles in then. That could be something we kind of get rid. Iron is mighty low, so we're going to need another iron mine too. And to be fair, we're probably going to utilize one of these. We could probably get on these here. So let's take a look. Yeah, these these are fine. So we've got a nice... That one there is good. These ones all the way up here. We already have the temp. They're a bit of a pain to flatten out, but we could be able to get on top of this somehow on this top corner. Oh, we can. Look at that. We can literally get on the edge of here. Go there. Just for now. And we'll get a couple of people farming on that one as well. All right, trees going in nicely over here as well. That's good to see. And we can upgrade the big barn now. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait till the goats are maxed out. Once the goats get maxed out, we'll probably upgrade our next barn. What I should do is make sure cheese isn't going bad too. I think milk ratio is still pretty good with the six in there as well. So we'll keep as is. Another merchant. Let's go ahead and sell these candles before he disappears. And let's see what the final one has. I don't want to do that. Um... Okay, there's nothing there. So wheat we don't want. That's the flax crops we don't need. Bricks are looking good. I think everything is pretty solid here. Cool. Right, I think I'll wait until... So whilst we're not building, we have a good amount of labourers in all fairness. But we're about to probably take up four in this iron mine as well. So we need to factor that in before we do anything further. And then we also need to uh, factor in what's going on over here now. Right, we fixed that. I reckon we could definitely keep that coal mine there and get these up. It'll take a little bit of extra doing, but that should be quite cool. Once this one upgrades, that'll obviously give a good boost. And then that'll also look a bit nicer. Let's get that one upgraded. How close are you? That one should be upgrading really, really soon. It just needs its food types. Same with that one. Not quite. Uh, marketplace and a couple of houses should be done over here as well. We don't have a well in for those. Silly me. That placed... Back bang in the middle right there. And let's get the housing straight in. We'll continue the growth over here. So I'm going to go with a gap in the middle. Looks like they've already started upgrading actually these houses, which is nice. And then I just need to work on these a tiny bit as well. There's a couple of gardens we still haven't upgraded over here. I reckon could flatten out this little section and make a little bit nicer over here. Get those last ones up. Population-wise, we've got enough room for it anyway, so we don't need to worry too much. And how's this looking? All our normal stores are enough. It's just another granary, but I'm not sure I want one, another one yet. It's amazing how the temple and the theatre are giving these all their desirability already, so they're going to upgrade as well. What I'm going to do is get this upgraded first, I think. When we get 100 bricks, it's 1,000 gold, but I think it's going to be worth it. I'm also going to get that upgraded, because that's another desirability thing. Am I going to want maybe a school over here? How are our barrels looking? We still have spare. All right. I'm not sure whether I want to get some of this upgraded. I might start over here as well and get some of these walls done. Then I can see where I started over there. And I think I'll start getting some of these. So we, we did get that bit done. I think maybe we'll finish off this section here as we already started it. Get those upgraded as well. Maybe these ones right here. And that covers that whole section. So it's just this housing estate that we need to clear out. I think this arborist we should definitely out here. That's a good industry zone, isn't it? I'm somewhat tempted to get a shrine over here. Maybe here by the theatre. Let me see. If I pop one down, let's see what kind of desirability boost we can get from that as well. Trying to figure out where it is. There it is. Right, because we can obviously upgrade this. I think the boost will be huge. Yeah. Shrine by the garden would look really nice when it's upgraded, wouldn't it? What about you? that better that does put that whole area yeah see they're all good anyway because the theater i think over here then in embedded in the gardens maybe that could be pretty cool 
Yeah, and then we'll get some garden pieces around the back. Okay, that's going to be a big boost as well. But there we go, guys. Officially 50 years in. Now, what have we got? we got a company of 12. We have a company of 12. I think this one should be upgraded first to get to the 24. And then we've got our four horsemen. Do I want one more? Fairly certain. If we get the other ones upgraded, we can get some heavy cav. I think that's what I want. Check in here. So I'm pretty sure this year round, we're going to start to see now some new fruits come in from here. So what I want, as soon as that starts picking up, I'll get a second person in there. Let's see what kind of people are upgrading here. So there's not too many. We've got quite a bit of elderly, but we'd still have loads of children. I'm very happy just keeping the, the going off births more than anything at the moment and keeping our food reserves around this. Used up all of our stone. That didn't take long. All right. Iron is still stupidly low. That must have finished now because it's showing... Right, that's cool. Let's see if we can get a path going up here. And it says too steep. Get that to there. And then if we go with like... I don't know. Try that. And then get the last bit of road on there as well. And we'll welcome the new traders in. So what do we want to do here? Unfortunately, it's Mr... Oh, look at that. Loads of beer. Let's get that topped up. It's Mr. Uh, the man that... Has all the money, but doesn't have anything for us. Now, yeah, that's it. Just checking in on the milk and cheese here. That is pretty level still. And how many did we get in the goat barn this year? 16. That birth rate's still only two. But now we're ticking over, though. Let's see what we've got coming in. So they're coming in from different angles now. As now I've covered that hill, as always. They are actually going to come in on our weaker spots. I'll wait for those to get a little bit closer. We can, in fact, upgrade our thingies here. I am going to wait once again. We'll accept those guys in. So that takes us to... Oh, my God. We've got our first... How was that? Yep, they just leveled a house instantly. I can't even see where they are. So what we're going to do is I need to take something out then out there. Oh, God. Um, let's grab these guys then. I'm going to flag these guys out a second. I'll get these on hotkey three. Hot key three and just grab them out. Get them on offensive and I'm gonna bring them out. That didn't sound good. And there's the oh yeah, they've got siege kit this time. So what I'm gonna do is bring them around the back then. Try and hit those whilst the other ones are in. This might not work very well, but we'll see. Hunters doing work though, that might hold them off a little bit. Hunters are wild, aren't they? They just like get stuck in. 112. Holy crap, hold on. Right, I might. Okay, they're at my fences. No siege kit over there, so I'm going to not worry about that one. And we are going to put all our efforts in this area here. Not concerned about... Oh my god, look how quick... Let's see how quick they can just... Holy crap, that's loud. Quick, get over here. Right, this is what I had all along to run in, but that's good. That's fine. I don't mind them breaking that down. I just need to kill this before it can do anything else. It's fine, they're split. They're going to break in, but our horsemen are going to kill these, hopefully. You'll see. Come on, do it. There's no way they kill my horsemen. There is no way. That's one horse down. One more trebuchet. Kill the soldier first, because he's the one killing you. There we go. And that's exactly how I wanted to do it. So the siege kit dealt with and then we're going to bring the cav in the back here don't mind losing them and then we should unleash on these from the hill now that's perfect there's our first lot that's exactly what i wanted with the cav wow i got a bit panicky there i'm not gonna lie we're gonna have to get as soon as this finishes we need to get an upgrade on one of these to be our main focus here all right let's keep an eye on what's happening then all right horsemen are in See, I might mop up, get the veterancy up a little bit, see what they decide to do. Oh yeah, looking good. Look at them going in. Oh god, we might lose the horsemen here. Utilize oh god, they're at the barracks. Horsemen, in you go! Focus that, and then we'll get that walled in next. There we go, that should save this quite easily. Looking good. Oh, there's some big, big, big boys there. Move him away a second, and let's send it back in. Charge! Fine. That's good. The only downside is I'll have to rename them every time. 
Ones at the back have got been annihilated anyway. He's a big boy. Get the horse in the back on that one. Send him home. Ah, he's doing that anyway. Cool. I might flag these out now. Let's go deal with this. Go deal with that. Send our soldiers out. We killed half of them. Uh, where's our horseman gone? Where is he? He's over here. He's just died. Okay. You did a good job. You're all right. You've managed to push those off. Yeah, so getting a wall in this will save our barracks here. That was a scary attack. I won't lie to you. But soldiers going in. Time for them. The hack. Speed of mine. Half speed here. Okay. How are you performing? Obviously, we're going to get onto the heavies really, really soon once we get this upgraded. So that's what we'll hold out for. Our next lot of soldiers are going to be heavies, I think. Yeah, these big boys are scary. They are tough soldiers right there. Arrows literally do nothing to them. All right, you might be able to go home now. Yep, that's fine. Well done. Right, no losses. A couple of deaths. I'll take it. That is a solid defense right there, guys. Oh, they destroyed a couple of my houses out here. That's fine. I might not build this up too quick until we're ready then. Definitely all in the uh, soldiers, though. That's the way to do it, I think. Uh, how many did we lose then? So they killed... They have villagers still attacking raiders. Leave them alone. <laughs> all right. Let me see then. We'll un unding that one. Pretty sure everything's okay. Yep, we're good. Right, upgrades. So we're going to want... Firstly, we didn't lose any of those, and we lost one U. So we're going to want the light infantry anyway. We lost all of our cavalry. That's okay. They did really well, so I'm, I'm it's exactly what I wanted to do with them. So we're going to have to... Now, they did good. Go with five horsemen once again. Yes, keep the names coming for these. And then we're going to want... What do we need? 800 gold plus 150 brick. So they're coming in. We'll have that really, really soon. Are we still being attacked here? No, we should be good. I'm actually going to break that down too. I'm going to harvest the resources on that. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, you can stop now. Please just stop. Go and do some work. <laughs> yeah, hunters. I need to move these in as well. So it might be more beneficial. Although I don't want to move them in. I'll be honest. I think I want to keep them there as long as possible. Because they're hunting out here anyway. And to be fair, the hunters kill one or two before they even get in. It's those big boys with the shields and, like, big uh, mace things, though. They're so powerful. All right, we're seeing some fruit now come in for this. So, mostly are apple, but we do, for the other part of it, have that as well. We've got the auto replant, which helps massively as well. Ah, oh, the wounds are killing my uh, soldiers, but we're still up. I right, desperately need to get this upgrade in, then. Come on. Let's ramp up our bricky. Get that going. I'm just thinking whether it's going to be worth it now to have the two towers on that hill. They pillage 20 pottery that... Thieving bastards. Yeah. Uh, it's frustrating because we put in all this effort up here and then they stop coming this way again. It happens every time and it's because of the site. That's how it works because we can now see there. I think for the time being, it's not costing much to have these here. So I'm just going to keep them here anyway. And that actually covers it. I know it's not quite flat, but okay. Pro yeah, probably will keep. If anything, I should probably just keep this one and then have this one over on here somewhere so it's covering this barracks but I think walling this in is more important anyway so what I might do is rather than I as much as that looks nice in shape I'm gonna have to do something like this I'm gonna bring it completely out we've got the fence that comes around there and then I should be able to have a look see what we can do with this so I think we're gonna need to flatten this out or we move it up on that little mound actually yes this is gonna be good so let's move this out here somewhere storage wise makes sense if we can squeeze you down here somewhere oh that would have been perfect little fit there we go we got a fit over there for that one and then i'm gonna get this i think that might still be able to stay but actually i want to move that completely this can probably go well it just needs to go out of the way for a second so i can get this sorted now we don't have that much room for anything at the moment what about there i can hear people fighting i don't like it a gold income's good. We've got the rat catcher there. I think getting rid of this one road here makes sense. That's not doing anything. And then I might be able to move the furniture shop. All right. Don't hate me for it, guys. I'm 
just rejigging this a second. We've got time. We should be okay. We're not going to attack for two years. There we go. Furniture right there. And then I should be able to just go ahead. Oh, it was a boar or something over here. Do that. There we go. And then I'm going to move the barracks back up on here. And then I'm going to wall it in. That's sensible, I think. It's actually more elevated too, so when they come towards it, they're going to get pelted from higher up. So it's going to be way, way more beneficial, I think. Uh, bricks coming in nicely. Gold is looking uh, juicy. What we want to do is try and sell as much as possible. We should be getting more candles in now too, because we did up that. I'm going to go ahead and put that to transfer some in, and let's keep a close eye. Iron is slowly trickling up now, even though we've upped the amount smelting, and that is here now guys so we've officially got this bad boy smelting fast so that's producing 60 per the year let's see what this one does with four in and we, uh, with six in we're going to want more people in there eventually as well but we need to factor in heavy tools too both use one this one's more efficient all right with the extra population we are going to be looking at getting more people in so what have we got then so we've got our five horsemen still think we 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 want a full cav of that soon. We want to be able to demolish them really quick and send the other ones into the back. They did really well by coming into the back of the match here as well. And they move around a lot quicker. So definitely worth having. They're a bit costly. And let's go ahead and go get the what's it called. So we're going to dot a few more apiaries around now. So we've got a new field over here that will give us a good honey boost, I think. So we'll get two more in there. May even just squeeze one in. You can put them in the other ones and they still will produce. I'm keeping them away from housing as much as possible, if you're probably wondering. All right, that's almost moved. Let's get this over. And we're going to need to recruit another one in the silver shafts as well, actually. I think that's perfect. We go that way. Still hits the town hall. I think this makes more sense to go a bit more centrally then. That makes sense right there. And wall around it. So we're going to need to actually go ahead and bring this... I'm going to flatten that tool as well. Let's get that done. And that does mean we'll have an edge for the wall then as well. So we're going to prioritize getting that in. Uh, flagpole moved over one as well. Year number 51 now, guys. Funny how the soldiers will just stand there until you get it done. But everything else should be good. Let's check in on these diseases here. So we need to make sure we're good. All right, so powdery mildew, then we're okay. No diseases there. They're looking a lot healthier actually at the moment. So I think we're fine with most of the this one's not so much. Beans, peas, turnips, and cabbages. Okay, let's get rid of that. Pop carrots on there. And then the beans, peas, turnips. They'll be good for that. Yeah, let's get something in here like... Hey, we got plenty of food anyway, so we're fine on that one. And I think that ledge fixed it. Let's take some looks here. Let's get our gate on the front. Yep, it's in. Uh, it looks so nice. I love designing it. All right, we're going to get this fence back in off this extension here as well. So it looks like some of our crops are being lost to some more deer now, being a bit cheeky. There we go. All right, barracks upgrade in motion, baby. Let's get that going as well now. We've got the bricks and plenty of gold income as well. And that means we can get the heavy cavalry. Now, I'm not sure how many more towers we want to get. I might even, I might add one or two. They seem to be pathing exactly how I want them to over to this as well, which is really, really nice. Let's see if we can make some money as usual. All right, these are things we absolutely love to see. Look at all these halberks we've got in, right? Look at all this that they're buying. So we probably want to buy some things off them. So we want to probably get in more stone where possible. I may even buy in some iron. Why not? Not loads, but you can have some. Go ahead and sell all of this. Even buying planks at five or a pop as well, which is quite nice. Let's transfer a bit of gold out. And how are you guys looking over here? We're going to need a rat catcher, aren't we? Bloody rats. You can go right on the edge there and I'll fix you for these houses as well. That, that got upgraded really, really fast. I think I'm still going to get houses in here eventually. We don't need it yet. So that's just, just enough. I didn't really need to build this yet. But to be honest, I just want to. Let's see if we're there. Still only two per year. So guys, I don't think the upgrade of the goat barns all that beneficial. Because it looks like it's going to only be birth rate of three per year. You'd expect with a 20 population to see four, at least a double. Be better off just having two barns. I guess it's slightly less people. I don't know. Right, what are we working with? Wow, I could... No, soap's better on this one. I'm going to leave you now and we're going to see what this one has. So, heavy armor for a reduced rate. We're going to want to get some of those in because we might be getting some of those horsemen. Right, so everything else though I don't think 
going to matter here. We're going to want to look to get the medicine in soon as well. Let's make use of all of that. So we've got two, two production chains we'll need to look at. So number one is going to be the book binder and paper mill. So paper mill first, then into books. We still get loads of pelts, do we? No, we struggle with pelts. So we might need to start buying those in. It's a bit of a weird one. It might be because we're not slaughtering. I think guild hall's sensible too, so we can get efficiency. But that requires the books as well. And then we have the library. So books wear out over time for the library. It's great desirability. We will need that once again as well. But this one is going to be the one I think we go for next. So apothecary we've actually increased a nice load of space over here now what i want to do is probably pop that there but let's check in a second we might even be able to squeeze another house right here and i think i'm going to do that let's utilize as much space as we can that's pretty much going to upgrade instantly and then we'll get the flagpole upgraded as well all right we have one come in if there was anything we'd want to buy here i would have got that in but i didn't see anything yeah clay i could buffer the clay a little bit we were running a little bit low, so we'll keep on top of that with the amount we are grabbing. I don't think there's anything we want to sell to them, so I'll leave it at that for now. Guys, there it is. The upgraded barracks. Look at this absolute beast. I love it. It is so cool, man. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can now go to a company of 24, right? Don't have the gold to uh, grab those in, actually. Let's transfer a bit out. I'm going to go ahead and grab in, let's say, what are these guys here? So pikemen, what are they good against? against enemy cavalry heavy infantry more gold is needed to train this unit monthly cost is 12 they're good okay so you need 60 gold i might embed a few heavy infantry into this maybe four we've got the goods for them Does that work i'm in infantry company here our monthly cost is 190 why can't i recruit let me try one at a time doesn't seem to be recruiting them here weird Tell me I need a separate barracks for that as well. You need a separate barracks for... So let me just see. If it lets me... Up those guys in. No, it's not recruiting anything at the moment. Yeah, I have no idea. I might need to do a reload and just get that recruiting. So we'll save that for next time. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you have enjoyed, smash that thumbs up for me. If you aren't subscribed, please do. And please consider supporting me that little bit extra by either becoming a member on Patreon or on the channel. Keep the names coming for the soldiers and all that as well. We've got our archer unit named, but if you want to do horsemen or light infantry, let me know as well. As always, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.